T minus 15 seconds and counting. The recorders on the strip charts are at a fast speed. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition. We have liftoff. Liftoff at 41 minutes past the hour. program is in as we switch from to a flight azimuth of 102 degrees. Our charts are right on normal here during the early phases of the flight. Now 33 seconds into the mission, we are looking good. Absolutely. Launch control, 50 seconds into the flight. All systems still looking good during this early phase of the powered flight. A little cloudiness at Cape Kennedy. That Our tracking charts are now moving out here in the Mission Control Center, and they appear to be on track at this time. Now, one minute into the flight, we'll be looking for booster engine cutoff of the Atlas first stage at two minutes and 20 seconds into the mission. This is Surveyor Launch Control, now one minute and 20 seconds into the flight. All systems still go at this time. We have an official liftoff time of 9.41 and one second Eastern Standard Time. Now one and a half minutes into the flight, our chart's still on track at this time. Bay Launch Control, now two minutes into the mission. All systems are still go at this time. Our tracking charts here in the control center are very, very close to nominal at this point. This is Surveyor Launch Control. Now, two minutes, 25 seconds into the flight, we have confirmation of booster engine cutoff of the Atlas first stage, and the boosters have been jettisoned from the vehicle. The sustainer engine continues to burn on the Atlas vehicle at this point, and will burn for uh, about a minute and 14 seconds longer after the booster jettison. Good, two, two minutes and 50 seconds into the flight. This is Surveyor Launch Control, now three minutes into the flight. We now have confirmation that the insulation panels that surround the Centaur stage during the early portion of the flight have been jettisoned. Surveyor Launch Control, we now have confirmation that that 2,000-pound nose fairing that protects the Surveyor spacecraft has been jettisoned. It appears to be normal. The time appears to be normal of the jettisoning of the nose fairing. All systems are still go. Our tracking charts still right on target at this point. This is Surveyor Launch Control. We have a confirmation of separation of the Atlas vehicle. We did not receive a VECO cutoff. However, with the separation, we now have confirmation also of VECO. Sustainer engine cutoff, Vernier engine cutoff. The Atlas has separated, and we can confirm the Centaur stage has ignited. Those two 15,000-pound thrust engines have ignited. We are continuing on the flight, all looking well at 4 minutes and 40 seconds into the flight.